Hi, everybody. I'm Linda from Substack, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Substack publication from the beginning so you can start sending out emails and posting online. So I'm here on the homepage substack.com, and I'm going to look for where it says start writing, this orange button right here. I'm going to click on start writing, and it's going to ask me to select the name, what's it about, and the web URL domain name for my publication. So the name that I picked, my publication is about skin care and it's going to be called Skin Advisor. And what's it about? I'm going to type in the tagline that I selected, which is skin care advice from anti-aging to zinc. And for the subdomain, I'm going to try skinadvisor.substack.com and it looks like that is available. So I'll go ahead and continue. Like it says at the bottom, don't worry, you can change all this later. So you're not committed to whatever you put here. It is possible to edit later. But for now, I'm happy with this. So I'll click on continue. And the next thing it asks me is to import my mailing list if I have an emailing list from some other platform, but I don't have that. So I'll go ahead and click skip here. And then the next thing it invites me to do is to add subscribers. And if I'm ready to start adding subscribers, I can do so right now, but I don't want to do that just yet. So I'll just click skip. And then the last thing it asks in the onboarding flow is for me to recommend other writers. And these are writers whose substacks I subscribe to. So it's asking if I want to recommend them and then they might recommend me back. So I think I will go ahead and recommend these five. If you don't want to do that, you can just click on skip for now, but I'll recommend these five. And that's it. I created my substack. It made this placeholder coming soon post for me. And when I'm ready to continue and start to post, I can click on new post in the top right hand corner. That's it.